I'm Chad. I'm Dad. No, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be Dad first. Oh yeah. You're Dad. I'm Dad. I'm Chad. And this is our channel. All right, guys. So we, um, I'll do this over again since Dad was doing it on his phone and now we've got the camera back. Um, but we tried to drill this guy out. Uh, so we had the quarter inch bit. We, uh, we pulled out the, the main nose gear and we made our cuts here. Um, the instructions say to go an inch and a half, but if you go an inch and a half from the end, you'll run into these welds in this pipe. So we went an inch and a quarter and, uh, talked to Tony and he said they did the same thing on their uh, test plane it ran so I don't know why the instructions say an inch and a half but we did go an inch and a half on the bottom so measured an inch and a half up um, drilled a, a quarter inch hole uh, I think it's a quarter inch hole and then uh, slotted it uh, on the bottom and the instructions didn't show the top so I asked Rands and said yes and told them about we go an inch and a half, it'll hit the weld. They said go an inch and a quarter, which is what I thought we should do anyway, but anyway. So we did that, drilled our quarter inch hole, and then slotted it on the top. Then we took the clamp and my dumb ass uh, didn't look at the instructions and I put the U-bolt through and I was trying to tighten it to... Uh, 200 inch pounds and it just broke so uh, dad found the bolts we put them in one of the bolts was defected it stripped stripped out it wouldn't um, the nut stripped out on the bolt I kind of felt it whenever I was uh, first starting the nut onto the bolt so anyway dad uh, ordered some new bolts and then went to the hardware store grabbed two stainless steel bolts so we could work today which is Sunday and tighten that down uh, let's see what do we do we tighten this down to 200 inch pounds. First, we put this guy back in. We we put the uh, drill bit through to make sure that it was uh, in the right spot, which was an inch and a quarter uh, drill bit. And then we started with a five sixteenths. We got through the top, uh, the tubing, and got a little bit into the uh, material, the solid nose gear, and the drill bit just decided it didn't want to work anymore. So took it over to a drill doctor, couldn't get it to work. Went ahead and pulled this guy out because I didn't have a, another short bit. And we decided, hey, we've already got the top drilled to 5 sixteenths. Let's go ahead and finish the uh, nose gear in the drill press, which worked out great. So then we put that back in the tubing, uh, lined it up with the 5 sixteenths bit, and then tighten this up 200 inch pounds again and then went ahead and went all the way through um, we were able to use a longer bit because we could get it down into the material we couldn't use it earlier because it was too tall so if i had to do over again i would have done the same thing drill press um, so now we're at 5 16 right so the next uh, layer was the bigger bit so we pulled it back out and we drilled it to uh, whatever this is. What is this guy? Uh, 0.3125. No, 0.368. Um, so drilled it in the press to 0.368. Came over here, drilled this to 0.368. Slid this guy up in here. Dropped it in and drilled all the way through to the bottom, okay? Then we took the reamer and that fit, but it was close. And that is a, the reamer is exactly 3.530. And then I'm just using a Mac Tools um, angle drill, AD3800AH, um, and that guy is, just for reference, roughly 
Oh, he decided to turn off on me. About 3.5. So with this guy in here, we were at roughly 5.6. And then it, um, it starts smaller or shorter and then works its way up. That's about 6 inches to the end of the flute. Um, so it fit in there just right. I thought I was going to have to cut the flute, but I didn't. Um, and then fluted it down. And that is beautiful. So next step was the bolt. And it came with two washers. And I'll show you what happened. We are just not good with bolts from our hands. I'm not sure how many people have done this. So now if you use both washers, it still bottoms out here. And I'm sure they want a washer on the back side. So if you take both washers out, there is about an eighth of an inch. So I know this is a very high tensile strength bolt. And I'll be sending, Dad's sending Rand's an email right now, but I don't really care that this thing's too short. We can get another bolt. I'm just happy how perfect this turned out. I'm very, very impressed with that. So that is just awesome. Um, that was a procedure. Um, I think what I'll do, we ordered, uh, like I said, Dad ordered these, and then we'll have to wait on this from Rand's, or they may tell us to cut it, or they may send us some washers or whatever. I think while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm, I don't know, Dad, should we pull this thing back out? Probably to get all the shit out of there. I think I'm going to pull this back out and um, go have it painted and then do the final install because we can't do it right now anyway and then once that's done if anybody needs this by the way um, I'll ship it to you guys if y'all pay shipping I've got the bit right here so just let me know drop a, a comment and uh, just for reference, that guy is 3.1, and that guy is, what I tell you all, 3.5. Yep. The next thing I'm going to do is move my clamp. Once I get that painted and back together, I'm going to move the clamp over and um, lift this guy back here and take this gear off and go have it painted that way and put it back on do the brakes, put the brake lines in the slot, and um, I'm going to put the cover on and do that, and then I'll set the cover down on here maybe. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Maybe leave the cover. We'll have to see how that'll how the cover goes on and all that. Um, but it covers this up. So when we paint it, we could just paint it to like right here. I don't know. We may just paint this on the plane. It may be easier to paint it off the plane though because I don't know how they're going to lift it in the paint shop. And I want to get all this painted correctly and I don't want it on any of this stuff. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at guys. Um, we got all this stuff going on so as soon as I get these back skins back from KC we will um, we can get those finalized and get these interior pieces in um, can't put this one down yet though because we have to to get everything rigged we have to put that uh, stop on there it has to be riveted in too long to maybe an eighth of an inch you want to take a picture and send it to them well, I'm just all right, guys, here's the mess I made. And I'm using this guy to do some surgery on this. 
So this guy actually rubs on the tire from the factory. And Rands told us to just grind it. So there was plenty of meat to grind it. We could send it to them. But uh, it didn't take more than 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, so now it clears all the way around, no rubbing. Probably took off maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less than that. So, bottom side has plenty, it's just the angle, and you can see where I made my sanding marks in there. If you'll get it at the right angle in the sander and just make light passes, take your time. It actually heats up pretty good, but uh, yeah, here's, got it all over me. So, yeah, I'm sparkling. I'll call that good. Uh, yeah, bolts will need to go the opposite way. So I ordered another beam clamp to lift this guy up. And we're going to go ahead and get all this gear painted at the same time. Um, that way it's done. We're going to get that piece painted. That way everything will be done, can go on the plane and be final. Um, that way they can tape it all off when they paint the rest of the plane. They're not be easier to paint it off the plane, especially trying to get there would be no way to paint all that without getting it on the bolts and brakes and stuff. So anyway, that's where we are today. Just humming along. Um, we got the pieces in for this and got that fixed. And I think I showed you guys the sort of dad had over tightened the uh, vertical power plug here um, but I showed you guys I got rid of all the breakers I mean not breakers but inline fuses and just all breakers and then these are for the lights over here so we'll have brow lights and then we'll have a light back here for the baggage compartment and I started on this guy this is this is super fun it takes two people to do this and um, the plans don't really show how this is supposed to go. So, anyway, um, it fit pretty good. These go forward. Um, that's the way it sits. So, your drawstrings will go forward on the yokes. Um, and then, Dad ran a wire um, on... Um, channel three, he ran it out uh, down through here, and we had to cut the ties for it. That's why it's a good idea, just use regular ties, uh, zip ties, until you're ready to completely done, and then use your expensive uh, payty ties or whatever you're using. This is all just cheap ties for right now until we're completely done, but here's the wire that Dad ran. Um, we'll have to finish fishing it through here. And that'll go follow all the wires going to the wings. We'll go up here um, for baggage lights. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Dad and Chad. If you like this video, share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up. And never miss an episode of Dad and Chad by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be back next Tuesday with another episode. Thanks again for watching Dad and Chad.